It is dawn, and a new day begins. Across the land, a wake-up call is heard, and in the towns and cities of America, entrepreneurs rise to the call. Time for new developments, new visions, new growth. It is time to move America forward. Welcome to our series, Moving America Forward. Each week we'll be focusing on America's entrepreneurs as they take us to new roads, new opportunities, new ways to fill the gaps left by today's failing companies. Our series will be looking at that and a lot more. So, come with me and watch as the entrepreneurs of our nation move into the future. I'm William Shatner, and you're watching Moving America Forward. And I'm Doug Llewellyn here in our studios in Los Angeles with our guest company today, which is one of the most interesting and forward-moving companies in America today, and they do some amazing things to help move America forward. For example, as a team, they create games that involve you in a total virtual involvement. The games totally surround you, and as an example, you could be playing a soldier on the battlefield in Afghanistan and find yourself surrounded by enemy troops and trying to figure out how to survive. Or on the other hand, you could be a sports star. You could be a quarterback in the middle of the action on the field in the Super Bowl. And it is totally realistic, very much so. Our guests are from a company called Akaji Inc. The company is headquartered in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And I'd like you to meet our guests now. They are three of the team's executives. First on my left, Janine Anderson, who is the CEO of the company. Glenn Anderson, who is the president of the company. And Mark Nasha, who is the business development director. Folks, it's nice to have you here. Nice to be here. Uh, Janine, a little while ago, you had a chance to have a brief conversation with William Shatner, and you talked with him a little bit about what you do. Let's take a quick look at that conversation, and then we'll come back to talk, okay? Okay. You, you are certainly in an interesting business, but take a moment to describe to me exactly what you do and who you do it for and how it helps move America forward. Well, Mr. Shatner... What we do is create virtual worlds. Picture a life-size video game or a movie set with working props and you will get the idea of what our virtual worlds are like. These worlds improve the work of those in such fields as military, government, agencies, homeland security, border patrol, the entertainment industry, higher education, and in so doing, we help to move America forward. Well, that sounded very, very interesting indeed. I think my description was not bad, was it, of what it you was, do? It was perfect. You describe all of the various kinds of industries that what you do can help and aid. And you ticked off, for example, the military and other names. Let's go through these very briefly and find out exactly how you can assist these companies. And then we'll find out our organizations. And then we'll learn more, more about exactly you know, how you go about doing it. But to begin with... Let's talk about the military. I, I referred to putting a battlefield, I mean, a soldier in the middle of the battlefield action. You, you really can do that? We, we have done that, as a, a matter of fact. And um, maybe, Mark, if you'd like to describe. Sure. Uh, yeah, we do our military first... training right now where we actually put um, an army trainee within an environment. They hold a weapon, they actually shoot a projectile that is then um, transferred into a digital world and then can interact with enemy aircraft and things of that nature and they literally are virtually placed within that environment and if they're shooting a projectile can they can they tell through the the use of this game uh, how well their their aim was absolutely they it's it's as a realistic simulation of the world as we can possibly do by digital means um, what they miss they don't do not target correctly they do not sight correctly that is all translated into the digital world now, this is in use now, and it's one of the, what was the fort? You it's know? at Fort Sill. Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah, that's what I thought. You know, it's interesting to hear all of this, but I need one of you to really describe what it is that, that the soldier, the individual, what kind of environment he is in. 
because it's hard to imagine without getting some idea of what, what really this is. Who would like to tell me? Well, um, imagine um, that you can take an, an image, a very high-resolution um, image of any environment and completely surround a person or a team that are working together um, in, in training or, or in an operation, um, and then you can also surround them with, with 3D sound, with, um, with, sights and, with smells as well as sights and sounds, yeah. with um, pretty much any sense we're able to, um, to replicate and, and simulate inside our, our virtual world environment. So what you have created is a dome. Tell me about the dome. Describe the dome for me. Well, the dome itself is, is a physical structure. Um, when you're inside the dome, it's a space that's about 40 feet in diameter. So it's a very large space and can accommodate uh, quite a large team inside. Um, unlike domes that others have created in the past, th though, this one is entirely rear projected, which means that all the, all the image generating equipment, the projectors, are on the outside. Um, which means you don't see them on the inside. They don't obstruct your view. You can't cast a shadow on the screen by walking in front of one, um, and they don't generate a lot of heat to, to make it um, unlivable inside the dome. And um, uh, the, the, the real challenge for us to create that rear projected dome was to come up with a mechanism for suspending a screen in a way that the structure that suspends the screen doesn't itself cast a shadow right. uh, when you're projecting on the back. Um, we have uh, a large deck uh, that the participants uh, stand on, and they can use any number of uh, specialized props. In the case of the uh, application at Fort Sill, we have simulated Stinger missiles that the soldiers can hoist on their shoulder, and uh, these missiles are, are, are uh, tracked so we know exactly where they are in, in the real world, and therefore we know what they're pointing at on the screen when they aim at a target. And I know you have a lot of cameras around the dome. How many? Well, projectors, actually. And projectors, there, yes, yes. 84 in our case. 84? 84. 84. And they're projecting all these various images that you see. Obviously, sound is critically important as well. You must have a supersized sound system. Am I right? We do. We do. It's, uh, it's, it completely surrounds you, um, not only... Uh, horizontally but also vertically so in in the the stinger application is as the planes fly over you hear them fly over and we simulate um, the uh, the effect of um, explosion well, well, Doppler, Doppler, Doppler effect and, so and as you hear it pass so, by. I mean if you imagine a typical uh, like a, a home theater sound system well you get surround it's around you or, or a movie theater surround system it's around you but it's only in that flat plane, only in these two dimensions. Right. We've added the third dimension so that uh, not only do you hear the plane flying past, but you can tell that it's flying overhead as well. You also said you have the, the floor moves? Is that right? Yes, you, you, we get a rumble effect yeah. if, you have, if you have something that lands nearby, an explosion that, that uh, we can simulate so that you can, you can get the, a, a real visceral effect of, as if you are in the environment. So if somebody were having a bad dream, and thought they were a soldier in the middle of the action, mm -hmm. and woke up in this dome, mm -hmm. they would swear they were there, They're right? Absolutely. Yes, they they were it's that realistic. Yes. Yes. You know, I really should point out that, that you, I mean, these are very, very, very smart people we're talking to. We're talking to Caltech engineers, and we're talking to game producers, people who've been involved in the game, video game industry. But you've gotten really serious about it now. Absolutely. Um, how do you work with the new clients who, who come to talk to you about creating worlds for them? What happens? Well, the first thing we have to do is um, sit down with our client and make sure that we understand what they expect to accomplish inside the world that we're going to create for them. Is it, um, is it an entertainment application where they just need to have um, uh, fans experience the um, the the fantasy environment, or are they trying to... Um, to create an educational goal that they're looking to achieve, like with this, the Stinger. So um, in the case of uh, the Stinger, we needed to be able to, in a, in a safe, repeatable environment, um, walk uh, soldiers through um, everything from how to basically um, uh, operate the equipment to being able to make 
to use those skills in a stressful environment that simulates a batter, battlefield environment. What kind of reaction have you gotten from the military, from soldiers who've gone through this kind of training? I mean, what, what, what feedback do you get? Well, we've, we've had uh, soldiers, uh, of course, comparing our uh, new training to training they've had in the past, yeah. and uh, they just can't believe that it is that uh, realistic and visceral, and, you know, they've uh, said it's some of the best best training that they've Such ever had. Such an extraordinary had. training tool Absolutely. for them. I think that's just the personnel that we've had generals walk through there, and when they walk into the dome, they walk in very stoic, and as soon as they, they are immersed into this environment, they almost melt into children. It's really? like they walked into a large Nintendo game, basically. Well, in addition to that, of course, you can do fun things, like, for example, you could create the, the uh, atmosphere of being on stage in Madison Square Garden, surrounded by 25,000 screaming fans, and you're the rock star, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And it would be that real. Yes. Absolutely. What do you see for the future of this technology? This is relatively new now. I mean, it's just, you're, you're just, you've been working on it for how many years? Well, our company has been around for six years, but we have worked on this dome for the past 13 months. Yeah. And it's been a, a process of evolution. So, I mean, we've taken uh, other immersive training environments that we've created over the, over the past six years. And this is sort of the culmination of that sequence where we've... Uh, you know, we've learned a lot of lessons, and we've uh, uh, put together a lot of innovative ideas, and we've, we've created this new platform for immersive environments. And it really can be used, and I mean, it can be used for fun, it can be used for the military, as you said, the Border Patrol, Homeland Security, schools. It's, it, it seems like its future is almost unlimited. What do you see for the future of it? What's your version? Well, as, as you mentioned, schools imagine a classroom where you're teaching uh, chemistry, chemistry, for instance, right. and you can project and, and walk your students through an atom, or uh, or through the birth of a universe, or or um, you're teaching fluid dynamics, and you can be at the bottom of the Mississippi River, or you can be anywhere. Imagine um, a uh, a wedding chapel where you could get married on the moon, How or about that? you know, there's so many avenues for this. It's been so exciting to hear about this. We wish you all the best of luck. Thank you very much. I know, I know you're going to make a, a lot of noise. Thank you. And, Thank and you we much. appreciate your starting it here with us. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm William Shatner, and you're watching Moving America Forward. This organization represents companies across our great nation that embody the spirit, dedication, know-how, and can-do attitude which has made America the great nation it is today. And now, let's present the Keeping America Strong Award. Now, it's my honor to present this prestigious award to the executives of Akaji, Inc., who are doing so much to help move America forward in this unique time that we live. I'd like to give this award to you, Janine. Thank you very much, and congratulations. Thank you very much. On behalf of my company and uh, everyone involved with Akaji, we thank you. You're very welcome. That's it for another edition of Moving America Forward. I'm Bert Tenzer. Join us again as we continue to bring you the entrepreneurs who move America forward. I'm William Shatner, and for all of us at Moving America Forward, thanks for watching.